Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to create this inception style infinity photograph in Photoshop. So this is our starting image and the first thing I am going to do is go over to the layers palette and double click on the layer to unlock it. I am going to name this as photo. Next I am going to go over to the tools palette and select the crop tool from there. I'm going to make sure that delete crop pixels is selected and then I'm going to give a crop to the image so that the girl in the image stays on the left side of the photograph. Also I'm going to click and drag so as to extend the canvas of this image. Next I'm going to go into the channels palette and check individual red, green and blue channels. I'm going to select the red channel and duplicate the channel. I'm going to name this as alpha. Next I'm going to turn on the visibility of the alpha channel and turn off the visibility of the rest of the channels. I'm going to take the brush tool with the foreground color as white. I'm going to paint over the girl in this image. I don't need to be precise with this painting. All I need to do is just cover up with the white paint. Then I'm going to take the magic wand tool and select the white portion in the image. I'm going to inverse the selection by pressing Ctrl Shift I and I'm going to fill the selected layer with black. So edit, fill and then I'm going to choose black. Next I'm going to deselect everything and then click on the RGB channel and then back to layers palette. Now I'm going to with the magic wand tool I'm going to select the empty portion of the image and then I'm going to inverse the selection. Then I'm going to go into edit and content aware scale. I'm going to make sure that protect alpha is selected in protect options and then I'm going to click and drag to fill the empty area of the image with the photograph. Next I'm going to create another layer over this photo layer and I'm going to name it as frame. With the rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to make a selection on this layer. And then I'm going to inverse the selection. And then I'm going to go into edit. and fill this selection with white. Then I'm going to go into filter, filter gallery and I'm going to choose texturizer. The texture is going to be of sandstone, the scaling is going to be 100% and the relief is going to be 25. For the light it is going to be top right. and then select OK. Next I'm going to right click on it and go to blending options and select bevel and emboss. I'm going to choose the technique as chisel soft. The size is going to be around 15 pixels. And for the shading angle it is going to be 45 degrees. Now I'm going to create the infinity effect by using the step and repeat process. Actually I have created, created a tutorial a few days back. So if you don't know how to use the step and repeat process, please do watch that. I will be providing the link in the description. Anyways, I'm going to make a copy of this layer. 
by pressing control j and then i'm going to start the step and repeat process so for the st st uh, step process i will be holding down alt control and t and then i'm going to click and drag and then i'm going to click on the check mark over there and for the repeat process i'm going to hold down alt control shift and t i'm going to repeat this process over and over again till i get the infinity effect and then i'm going to select all these layers together and then i'm going to merge them together by pressing control shift and e then i'm going to go into filters and sharpen and unsharp mask i'm going to enter the amount as 110 the radius is going to be 1 pixels and the threshold is going to be 0 and then click on okay so there you have it your inception style infinity photograph in photoshop so this is the end of the video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please give it a like and subscribe to my channel anyways thanks for watching and have a nice day everyone